Yeah. Now, for uh, somebody who's maybe wanting to read the book, um, what are some of the main ideas of the book? And I know you brought uh, five key points that you would definitely like to put out there for our audience. Okay. Well, first of all, the mo most important thing is watch me. I mean, it's a very bold statement on the cover, and I wanted it bold. But ironically, it is not about anger, defiance, or revenge when you're upset. Okay? And this is also what I teach my little children at Winslow. Um, Watch Me Attitude is about a calm perseverance. Um, it is about defining what you really want and having a keen focus. Um, so it's an inner journey uh, to become your best self and find your, your purpose for life your purpose for being here, and we all have one, and being very focused to continue on your path to reach all those goals and dreams that you have, despite what life gives you, because we're supposed to be challenged. And when we're challenged, that's okay. Those are the tough times. But it's when we're challenged, what we do with that challenge that defines us as people in our character, and ultimately, which will help us reach success. And success is defined in my book for personal success. It's not about money. It's not about material wealth. But it is about an inner peace, a contentment, and a major self-pride for reaching the goals and dreams that you have had in life. So, okay, five key points. Um, one is, uh, it's a lesson that I learned as a very young girl that I often talk about when I'm giving speeches. It's called the lesson of the five Ds that my father told me. And he said, "Hun, if you got the five Ds, you can do anything in life, which is drive, dedication, determination, devotion, and dare to dream. And in that five Ds chapter, I break down each of those words and what it means and how to follow that philosophy. Um, another chapter that I think is very important is one on relationships. I do mention what a, an evolved or a healthy relationship should be like. Um, I mention a lot, of, a lot of lists. Again, as a therapist, uh, about one third of my practice is relationships, and there's a lot of toxic relationships out there. So I give you know the red flags of what people should look for, um, and I said it's important to know what you want, not to settle for anything less. Just some examples there. There should be no addictions or anger in a relationship. Um, someone should be kind-hearted and not mean-spirited. Um, it's important that they can openly communicate their feelings. And um, there's lots of examples in there. But they should be of good character, you know. Now, you also, another one of your points is uh, setting progressive or progressive goal setting. Okay. Could you uh, ex expand on that? Absolutely. That's a very important one. And this was something I always told my models and actors. If you learn anything from my school, you must set goals twice a year. One, I say, is do it New Year's Eve when everyone else does, and this is perfect timing to set your goals, everyone out there. And I always say set three personal goals and three business or school goals if you're still in school. Um, and you should try to reach them in the next six months. Uh, the second time to set six-month goals is your birthday. So if you have a holiday birthday or you're close to New Year's Eve, choose July 4th as your second set of goals. Um, and as soon as you reach those, then you make new goals. Okay, so you have a six-month goal. You have, you break it down. Let's start simply. Each day you wake up to three things you must do that day. Three mini goals. Okay, three important things you really want to do. And then that week, you should have three things you know you want to accomplish over the week. That month, what is it you want to accomplish? And in the six months, what do you want to accomplish? So if you reach your six-month goals, you reward yourself with something you've wanted. So let's say Lexi, who wanted to be the pop star. Okay, that's point Z. How does she start at point A? Well, simply when she was in school, I said, okay, you want to try out for the talent show. Okay, you should do volunteer work to help others, and so you have that on your resume. You want to get a job um, to work that will coincide with what it is you want to do. You want to model, maybe work in a retail store. Learn to put fashion together. Um, here's a book. Read what it is to be a top professional model and a singer in the industry. Know what you want to do. So there's a lot of little mini goals that you can start with. Um, and then as you, one is done, you progress to the next one. With her, uh, it's getting a press kit together. You know, getting professional pictures, building a talent resume, getting a demo kit. How do you get a demo kit? Well, you have to start with a singing coach and getting your best four to five songs together. So no matter what you're doing in life, well, that was her example, but if you want to be a business executive, there's also many goals for that. 
to reach that degree of success in life. So the book covers for all walks of life from age 12 up. And just a small example, I had a model that wanted to come and work at the agency. She was 84 years old. Well, not only did her husband laugh at her, but people are there, you know, what she want to do this for? And her comment after we talked about it, I said, you can do anything you want in this life. Gear up. And I was telling her about the attitude and don't let anyone put you down and, you know, get a keen sense of focus and you can do this. And um, Hildy was a wonderful lady. She, she was inspiring everybody in the class. And I got to tell you, she was one of my busiest book talents. She did television, she did billboards, she did print ads um, for senior modeling. And that falls under real people models. So her husband actually came in and apologized to me for laughing at her and me and saying this is a joke. Because nothing you dream is ever a joke. It's always, you know, it's, it's important to you. You can make it happen. And that's what the message is about.